Underneath this plastic tarp, I have my granite surface plate. Okay. It is always a good idea to keep these covered. I use a plastic tarp. Uh, you can make a wooden uh, structure to cover it. I think having a wooden structure is a very good idea. That way you have a surface that you can lay things on top. These, uh, these granite plates are not tables. If you're going to clean your granite plates, do not use soap and water or any water-based solvent. What happens is the water will get absorbed into the uh, granite and uh, you can potentially rust your tools. I use denatured alcohol. This is also what Michitoya USA recommends to uh, clean your granite plate. You see the bluing? That is Persian blue when I was scraping. It will also pick up the blue out of the, uh, the granite. Your hands are very sensitive. So when you're done with the uh, denatured alcohol and the cleaning, just go over the plates. You can feel everything on the surface. Michitoya USA also recommends using a precision stone like the one you get at Kinetic Precision, Spencer Webb's uh, website. And just lightly go over the surface of the stone. You're not trying to change the dimension. All you're doing is trying to pick up any kind of little metal particles that are embedded in the stone or in the granite. Your parts should just basically float across the stone like a hockey puck. Try to get one that comes with some kind of certification. How precise are these certifications? I don't know. You know, I do not know if I could trust these numbers, um, but they do come with certif certification. This is a A grade plate, okay? You have a double A, which is a laboratory, A grade, which is inspection, and then a B plate, which is a shop, shop plate. Uh, this was B about maybe 15 years ago. This is probably like a, an XYZ by now, okay? The only thing I use this plate for is basically laying out lines, okay? Uh, this is my abusing plate, and this is my measuring plate.